suppose t of n is twice of t of n by 2 plus n to the power 4. For this recurrence, a is equal to 2, a is the coefficient here, b is also equal to 2, b is this coefficient, and f of n is n to the power 4. So to apply master theorem, we need to compute n to the power log of a base b. And that is n to the power log of 2 base 2, which is n, because 2 to the power 1 is 2. Now, if we compare n to the power log of a base b with f of n, we find that f of n is polynomially larger than n to the power log of a base b. So we end up in case 3 of master theorem, where f of n is polynomially larger than n to the power log of a base b. Now we could check for the regularity condition over here, but we can say even without it that it will hold because we prove that if f of n has specifically the form n to the power log of a base b plus some number epsilon if f of n is particularly of this form then the common ratio will be less than 1. The common ratio for the summation of the level sums down the recursion tree will be less than 1 and so we are going to get a decreasing geometric series. So we don't have to check for the regularity condition in this particular case. We could directly write t of n is theta of f of n or theta of n to the power 4 by case 3 of master theorem. Even if f of n had been say 7 times n to the power 4, we could still have directly concluded that t of n is theta of n to the power 4. The only, the only case where we need to check for the regularity condition is when the f of n that's given to us has complicated terms like log n and so on over and above the power of n. So if f of n is just some constant times a power of n, we know for sure that the common ratio will be less than 1. We proved that in a previous video. So even if this recurrence had been t of n is twice of t of n by 2 plus some constant c times n to the power 4, we didn't have to check for the regularity condition. We could have directly concluded that t of n is theta of n to the power 4 because f of n specifically has this form of theta of n to the power log of a base b plus epsilon. So f of n is polynomially larger than n. Epsilon here is 3. Log of a base b is 1. Let's take another example. Suppose t of n was 3 times t of n by 4 plus n log n. So 
value of a here is 3, the value of b is 4, and the value of f, of the, the function f of n is n log n. So if we compute n to the power log of a to the base b, we get n to the power log base 4 of 3. Now if we compare this with n log n, what do we see? Well, firstly, f of n is not of this clean form. It's not just some power of n. There is a log term here. So let's ignore this log term for now. Can we say that if you just, if suppose this log term hadn't been there, which of these two powers of n is larger? Well, n is larger because log base 4 of 3 is going to be some number less than 1 because log base 4 of 4 is 1. So if if we have a 3 here, it's going to be some number less than 1. It will probably be greater than 0.5 because log base 4 of 2 is 0.5 because 4 to the power 0.5 or square root of 4 is 2. So this number log base 4 of 3 is going to be between 0.5 and 1. So the power of n is larger over here. So we can say that f of n is polynomially larger than n to the power log base b of a. So we are in case 3 of master theorem again, but this time we need to check that the regularity condition holds as well, because f of n is not of this clean form. There is a log term within the function. It's not just n to the power something or some constant times n raised to the power some number in which case we would have directly concluded that t of n is theta of f of n without checking for the regularity condition. So we need to check that a times f of n by b is less than or equal to c times f of n for some constant c between 0 and 1. In other words, we need to check that if you look at level 0 and level 1, we want to check that the level sum at level 1 is some fraction of the level sum at level 0. The level sum at level 0 is f of n. The level sum at level 1 is a times f of n by b. So, in order to in order to verify that the summation of the level sums down the recursion tree forms a decreasing geometric series, the regularity condition must hold. We proved that in a, in a previous video. In the proof for case 3 of master theorem, we proved that if this condition holds, then the summation of the level sums down the recursion tree is going to form a decreasing geometric progression, geometric series. And f of n, the first term in the series, is going to dominate the overall complexity. So what's a times f of n by b over here? This would have been ideally the, uh, the the second term of the level sum series, the series down the tree. 
first term is f of n, the second term is a times f of n by b. So a times f of n by b is 3 times log of n by 4. The question is, is this less than or equal to Can we say that this is some well-defined fraction of f of n? Sorry, f of n by b here is going to be. So f of n is n log n. So f of n by b is n by b multiplied by log of n by b. So a times f of n by b is a times n by b multiplied by log of n by b. So here a is 3. We have this log term n by b over here and in addition to this we need another n by b term which is n by 4. Let's do that on a separate page. We need to check that 3 times n by 4 multiplied by log of n by 4. This is a times f of n by b is some fraction of f of n. Which is n log n. So can we say that 3n by 4 times log of n by 4 is less than or equal to cn log n for some constant between 0 and 1. Well, yes, because we can write this as 3 by 4 n multiplied by log of n by 4. Now, if we replace this n by 4 by n, Basically, I'm trying to get this form. I'm trying to transform this into this form, cn log n. So right now, 3 by 4 is in place of c. n is as it is. But we have this log of n by 4 term here, whereas we need a log n term. So if I replace log of n by 4 by log n, I'm getting something larger. I'm increasing the value of this uh, term. So I can say that this is less than or equal to 3 by 4 n log n. So if we choose if we choose c equal to 3 by 4, we see that the regularity condition is satisfied. Even if we choose c to be greater than 3 by 4, say, so 3 by 4 is 0 0.75, we could choose c to be 0 0.8, or we could choose c to be 0 0.9, we would still say that a times f of n by b is, is, is less than or equal to c times f of n. So if c was chosen to be 90%, can we say that this term is going to be less than 90% of f of n. Well, yes, because we've shown that this term, 3 by 4 n times log of n by 4, is less than or equal to 75% of n log n. So, what's happening is that as we are going down this tree, when we move from f of n to the next level sum, so first level sum is f of n. The next term in the series is going to be at least smaller than 75% of the value of the first term. The next term in the series is a times f of n by b. And we are saying that it's going to be less than or equal to 3 by 4 times f of n.
So when we move from f of n down to a times f of n by b, we are we are getting a value that is less than 75% of the original value. So it's at least 25% smaller than the original value. And that is what we need to have in order to make the series a decreasing geometric series. In At every step, we need to um, sort of lose a constant fraction of the value at the current step. So the level sums are going to go down in a geometrical fashion. And so it's a decreasing geometric series. And therefore, we can conclude that P of n by case 3 of master theorem. We have shown both these conditions apply. F of n is polynomially larger than n to the power log of a base b. And the regularity condition holds. So the solution is t of n is theta of f of n. f of n here is n log n. So by case 3 of master theorem. f of n is theta of I'm sorry, t of n is theta of n log n. So this is the solution of the recurrence to this recurrence.